Hi, welcome everyone to another video on the channel. It's good to see you again. If you've not already subscribed to the channel, please do so by clicking just below. That would be much appreciated. I am rapidly closing in on 10 thousand subscribers which was my big goal from day one when we started this channel back in april 2023 we're not far off please help me to get there thanks to all my existing subscribers and members your support is massively appreciated if you're not a member check out the join button see if you want to become a part of our massively growing community where you can get access to members only videos and many more perks check it out okay on to today's video a very important topic we're going to talk about the impending mandatory mfa for administrators that is looming if you've not heard about this microsoft are introducing this from october the 15th you are going to have to prepare to protect your uh, admin accounts in entra admin center and many more admin centers you're not going to be able to ignore the fact that uh, MFA is important anymore. This is going to become compulsory. What does it all mean? What can you do to prepare? Is it scary? No, it's not really, but you need to take the steps to get ready for it. And I'm going to show you all about it right now. So if you are any form of administrator in Microsoft 365, you may have already started to see in the various portals a notification warning you that MFA for administrators is going to be mandatory starting from October the 15th. Um, you may have also received some emails warning you about this. Typically enough, as I go into the portal right now, I don't see the notification when I want to show you this, but... Uh, what we can do is we can take a look at some of the detail that has been shared online. So here is the article from Microsoft themselves announcing mandatory multi-factor authentication for Azure sign-ins. What's it all about? And yet as cyber attacks become increasingly fraudulent, sophisticated and damaging, hopefully we all know this now, uh, the need to invest in cybersecurity is critical. And one of the pillars of Microsoft's Secure Future initiative, and I definitely encourage you to check out this site because it is full of absolutely wonderful information about how you can protect your uh, Microsoft environments. But it's dedicated to protecting identities and secrets and to reduce the risk of identity-related breaches. So we want to protect our identity infrastructure, strengthen identity standards, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So what can we do to prepare for mandatory Azure MFA? Required for all Azure users uh, will be rolled out in phases starting in the second half of calendar year 2024 to provide Microsoft customers time to plan their implementation. So phase one, Starting in October, MFA will be required to sign into Azure Portal, Microsoft Entra Admin Center, Intune Admin Center. The enforcement will gradually roll out to all tenants worldwide. This phase will not impact other Azure clients, such as Azure Command Line Interface, Azure PowerShell, Azure Mobile App and Infrastructure as Code Tools. Phase two begins in early 2025, which consists of gradual enforcement for MFA at sign-in for Azure CLI, Azure PowerShell, Azure Mobile App, and Infrastructure as Code. Beginning today, and when was this article? I can't see a date. There we go, August 15th. This was, was released beginning today. On that date, shall we say, Microsoft will send a 60-day advance notice to all Entra Global admins by email, and through Azure Service Health notifications to notify the start date of enforcement and actions required. Additional messages will be sent through the Azure portal, the Entra Admin Center, and the Microsoft 365 Message Center. Uh, if you've not done MFA before, then uh, shame on you, where have you been? But the options for you to enable MFA for the various portals, including Microsoft Entra, are the Microsoft Authenticator app. You can use FIDO2 security keys, a, a physical key, which is required to plug into your device, certificate-based authentication, pass keys for phishing-resistant authentication. And finally, uh, as this is the least secure version of MFA, you can also use 
uh, an SMS or voice approval as described in separate documentation. Definitely don't do that. If, you, if you're just getting around to doing MFA now, don't do that one. And if you are on MFA already and you are doing SMS or voice approval, please stop. What you need to do, in my opinion, is use the Microsoft Authenticator app for all of your accounts anywhere, not just admins. All of your users should be on MFA. I, I, that's a whole other conversation in and of itself. But what about emergency break glass accounts? I would encourage you to use FIDO2 for this because those break glass accounts, they are not going to be immune to this. And many, many folks have historically not protected their break class emergency accounts with any form of MFA. Now you're going to have to because you, you're not going to be able to use them if you don't. So FIDO2, in my opinion, is the way to do that. I have a video on setting up a FIDO2 uh, device, which is on the old Cloud Conversations YouTube channel, which uh, we used to do. I'll, I'll link to that video in, in this one so you can take a look. And it's very, very easy and straightforward to set one of those up. But there we go. So apparently it's going to be in the Microsoft. Let's take a look at some of this in action. So I couldn't see any alerts for this today when I took a look, but it did say there that it would be in the message center. So let's take a look and see if we can find it in here. Okay. And can we search for MFA in here? Just so we can see what this looks like. Here we go. Alrighty. So take action. Enable multi-factor authentication for your tenant before October the 15th, 2024. Services that this applies to, Microsoft Entra, Microsoft Intune. So let's open this up, take a look, and see what it looks like, what it's all about. Here we go. So again, we already know we've got starting on or after October 15th, uh, Microsoft will require admins to use MFA when signing into these portals. And yeah, we'll not, we'll not retread what we've already read. Oh, made a rhyme there. What do you need to do to prepare? If you've not already, then set up MFA before October 15th, 2024 to ensure your admins can access the Azure portal and, and the other portals. If you're not able to set up MFA before this date, you can apply to postpone the enforcement date. So there is a way to postpone it. But um, if you're going to do this, don't just postpone and ignore. Make a plan to get this done. And ideally, don't postpone it. Uh, if MFA has not been set up before the enforcement starts, admins will be prompted to register for MFA before they can access the Azure portal, the Entra Admin Center, or the Intune Admin Center before the next sign-in. So there we go. So that, that to me sounds like it's not going to completely lock you out. It's going to mean that you can't proceed unless you register for MFA, which uh, at least is good. So for more information, refer to plan for mandatory multi-factor authentication. So there is another link here. Let's open that up and see what this is all about. Here we go. There's a learn.microsoft.com page, as well as the flashy, jazzy microsoft.com news page that we had. And here we can see all of the scopes of enforcement, the accounts that are affected, the enforcement phases, the notification channels. So we've got email, service health, portal notification, message center, preparation steps here, uh, external authentication methods and identity providers, and request more time to prepare for enforcement. Out of curiosity, what does that look like when we click on here? Does this give you a form? Uh, let's just see uh, what that takes you to. So it takes you into the Azure portal. And dun, 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 dun. okay, now we're getting. A, this is one of the alerts that I wanted to show you earlier on, uh, which came up here, and it just tells you and it takes you to manage multi factor authentication. And okay, it's just giving you some action required steps there. And you can click on postpone enforcement. I do not want to do that. Um, I definitely don't want to do that. But if you want to do it, you can do it there. Okay, and what was the other? authentication one that we had here migrate to the authentication methods policy in azure active directory by september the uh, 30th 2025 we will retire the ability to manage authentication methods in the legacy mfa and sspr policy. oh yes i know about that one that's completely unrelated to this okay so there we go um very very important have a good thing about this if you're not already 
doing MFA for your admins. It's crucial that you do take the necessary steps to get prepared, to test, to make sure you've got break glass accounts. And I strongly advise you to invest in some FIDO2 uh, tokens to protect your break glass accounts and lock them away somewhere for when you need them because break glass accounts are not going to be immune from MFA anymore. You're not going to get that choice. So you need to be prepared. Take the steps to, to do so. Equally, what I would encourage you to do is think about any non-true service accounts that you have set up. And what I mean by that are admin accounts that you have explicitly set up as service accounts, but they're not really. They're actual user accounts with admin privileges, and they will be affected too. So if you're using accounts in that way with admin rights as service accounts, think about that. That is going to be something that's going to catch a lot of people off guard. So do take that consideration. I think that is probably all we can do to uh, to prepare you for that. I did do some co-piloting earlier on. Uh, I, I love co-pilot at the moment, asking questions. And I literally just typed in M365 Enforcement MFA for All Admins October the 15th, and it, it tells me all about it. If you want a quick way to find this information, starting on October 15th, it gives you all the details you need. Uh, when, what to do, why bother, and, and here are some more compelling reasons for doing this. Well, apart from keeping the digital riffraff out, I love that, it helps you comply with security standards like PCI, DSS, HIPAA, GDPR, and NIST. Plus, it's just good practice. So, so my friend, gear up. There you go. MFA is like a superhero costume for your login process. Cheesy, but true. So there you go. It's inevitable, in the words of Thanos. You've got to do this. You can postpone it, but I would encourage you not to. Please get on with this. Please, please remember those service accounts that are not real service accounts, ones that you've set up as admins and given privileges to. They will be affected as well. So have a good think about how you're going to be affected. Start preparing right now. Take the steps you need to prevent disruption and not to lose access to your Microsoft 365 portals and those emergency break glass accounts as well. Do look at getting FIDO2 keys to protect those because you're going to need them. Right. Thanks for watching the video. Give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button if you've not already done so. Help me get to that magic 10K. Click on the join button to see what membership perks are available if you become a member. And thank you all for your continued support. It really means the world. You all take care, travel well, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.